humanitarian assistance must do no harm to the affected people they serve. Every people has voice and choice regard their life. But some people, like people with disability, older people, children, women, people living with HIV, are more at risk of experiencing abuse and harm than others. And they are facing barrier to participate in the decision making and in the humanitarian assistance activities that affect their life. Doing harm to individuals can be destroyed the trust of the community. By engaging with the community for ensuring community trust, can increase meaningful participation including in the feedback and complaint mechanism. Enhanced community participation cannot be generated. It depends on the situation of group in the community with specific capacities and needs. It also depends on the condition of the barriers or access and security. Some people may need support with reasonable accommodation, accessibility, and affirmative action to participate in meaningful manner and build their capacities. Building participation of the diversity within the community in the humanitarian assistance, including in the feedback and the complaint mechanism, must acknowledge and use local initiative into ways interactive communication. Those can be improved the dignity of the people and the quality of humanitarian response.